Johnson had won the last three meetings with Motherwell at McDermott Park without conceding a goal. Fraser Kerr looks for the early ball into the middle, away by right. Halloran is coming under pressure there. Oyama's won it back. Looks for Ainsworth. And the ricochet goes away of Ainsworth. And a blistering finish from the winger. And could this be the night that Motherwell turn their fortunes around? Ainsworth celebrates. It was Michael O'Halloran that was caught in possession by Henrik Oyama. Vigers too trying to win the ball back. And the ball broke for Ainsworth. And well, there was certainly no mistake in his finish. Hit with firm power into the roof of the net. Poor defending from a St. Johnson perspective. But what about the finish? Vigers on to Hamill. Stevie Hamill to have a go. That would be a rare strike. He's already got one this season, but only five in his entire career. About a yard wide of Manus's goal. Dave Mackay, well he unleashed that one with the right foot, it was travelling and swerving, not too far wide of the target, Oyama, now Kerr, Oyama's continued his run, can he muster the space for a shot, well he's done really well to get back to his feet, keep it alive for Motherwell, Here's Ainsworth, good save by Manus. Ainsworth again now. Anderson wins it back. And St. Johnson could have a counter on here. It's O'Halloran. O'Halloran past Kerr, who's gone to ground. On to Croft. Back to O'Halloran. It's 1 1, five minutes before half time. That is as incisive a counter attack as you will see. A big moment in the game. The save from Manus to deny Ainsworth his second and from there St Johnson broke and broke at pace Kerr tried to halt the attack but O'Halloran knew that the opportunity was on, Motherwell were exposed and didn't St Johnson finish it off well, Croft to O'Halloran and it's 1-1 Lasley Francis Angol to Hamill and he spots the run of Ainsworth. Ainsworth gets it on his right foot. It's a good ball into one that you would expect John Sutton to be all over. Kai picks up the clearance. Croft now. It's a good ball in. Fraser right. Good stop. McDonald on the rebound, which he can't turn home. Well, Fraser Wright must have thought this one was goal bound. Good delivery by Croft. Didn't Wright rise well? He met it firmly, but it is a strong left handed save by Twardzik. Easton finds McFadden, former Fur Park favourite, a legend in Lanarkshire. Finds O'Halloran. Oh, it's good beat by O'Halloran. And 10 minutes from time, Michael O'Halloran has got his second of the night. And could it be the goal that sends Motherwell to their fifth straight league defeat? Kerr slipped and collided with Stephen McManus. And that left a path open to Michael O'Halloran. And didn't he finish it well? created the space for himself before a beautiful clip finish over the outstretched legs of Dan Twardzik. Three-game losing streak at home for St Johnson looks to be ending tonight. It's Brian Graham and Gary Miller. Oh, what a chance it was to completely finish the game. Just couldn't get his feet right for the shot. 
but St Johnson have scored a very important victory tonight and it is a tough fifth straight league defeat for Motherwell.